Hi, I'm Bob Shrupp, physical therapist. And I'm Brad Hannig, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course. Brad, we had a couple viewers that were complaining that we hadn't done any videos on golf. And the fact is we had done one or two. We actually did one on Tiger Woods. Remember that? Yeah, that was a long time ago. A long time ago. We were just pups at the time. Really didn't right. Know. So just to let you know that we are responsive to, uh, to our viewers. We are going to do one today. It's going to be the top three stretches to do before you golf. Now, I'm a golfer. I golf at least once a week. You don't golf much. I golf once every five years. Yep. But I'm going to start golfing more as uh, the aging process takes its advantage of my body. It's not pretty, Brad. <laughs> I haven't seen you at golf. <laughs> But anyway, as I know, most of you get to the golf course, there's not a lot of times uh, right before the, the, you get on the tee box. So you, these are the three stretches that I want to see you do because these are the three that I've actually seen people get hurt. Sure. I've had two friends that hurt their back on the golf course. Yeah. I've had a couple friends that have had a tendonitis mm -hmm. and they couldn't even golf anymore and for a while yeah. in their elbow. And I've had also one person, my brother, who hurt his calf muscle while he was golfing. So, it's a dangerous sport. It's a dangerous sport. You don't think there's any injury. Wow. But, so let's start off with the back. This yeah. is the one that you really want to get warmed up. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing is, how do you hurt your back, Brad? Uh, what's the normal way people normally hurt their back? Oh, you mean typically with a bending, bending forward, forward yeah. motion. Right? So what's the stretch you don't want people doing? Bending forward. Right. So they, the autumn I see them take this club and they go like this. Yeah. I mean, that's the worst stretch you can do. I mean, that's what's going to give you back pain. That's going to stress those discs yeah. and it's going to really increase your risk for herniated discs. You really don't want to be in that rounded out posture. So, at the, what is good is actually to put your back in the opposite direction. Yeah. And so that's where these, these work great. You can actually just take your club and kind of put it in your low back and stretch back like this. Now, do you use a wood for that or an iron? You can use anything, Brad. Okay, just wanted to clarify that. His, his heavy knowledge of golf. Now, the other thing is you can go up a little higher. Sure. Like that, and even a little higher. Yep. You yep. get the different levels. But this is a great stretch to do before you golf because you don't want to throw your back out, which is normally happens when right. you bend. And if you work and you do a lot of sitting or you do a lot of bending, this is just a great exercise exactly. for other things. The thing is, if you're driving a cart too, when you're on the cart and you're slumped, mm -hmm. you're, you're putting yourself at more risk for uh, hurting your back when you're, when you're golfing. So make sure you have good posture when you're in a cart. So that's number one. Well, back is number one, because right. this is also number one, and this is the one you see most people do. Oh, the rotation. Yeah. You want to you wanna start just gently, you know, start with small rotations and then work into larger ones. And then after you've done that, then you're going to put the club in front of you like this. Mm -hmm. And this is the driving one. And this is the receiving one, I guess you'd say. And you're going to go like this. You can really stretch it now. You see how that's working, Brad? Yeah, and that's not only stretching your back, but you're getting some of those. You're stretching the pectoralis muscle here, yeah, too. That's, Absolutely. that's like pretty active in that golf swing, isn't it? Yep. So I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm a right-handed swinger, so I, I have to go way back this way. This is where I really stretch it. I'll stretch it this way, too, just to even things out. But so I really if you were left-handed, you would do the other option. I would probably go yeah. more this, sure. this way. Yeah. So... All right, that's for the back. Now, Brad, do you want to show for the forearms? Oh, the forearms, you bet. A lot of people get a tendonitis right. from, from golf. This one, just take your hands out like this, make a loose fist, don't tighten them up, and go down as far as you can, and then rotate out. Yeah, you'll okay. feel that. Yeah, it's right up in here. It's not a real aggressive stretch, but it's going to stretch into that three or four times. And you can do that throughout the game, you know. Yeah, get away. You, you want to get loose. Don't worry what people think when they're, they think you're kind of looking strange. Then you're going to go this way. Once it catches on, everyone on the golf course will be doing it. Take your hands like this, this hand over the fingers, and I'll do it this way so you can stretch it this way. These are gentle stretches. Hold them for mm -hmm. five to ten seconds. Do them throughout the, throughout the uh, game. Okay. And with so that, you got the top of the forearm right. basically and the bottom right. of the forearm with those two kind of stretches. Two, three. And the other thing, Brad, once you say is like if you are kind of prone to that problem, you can even massage this a little bit. Absolutely. Get some blood flow into that area. Right. Yep. You know? I have my wife do that to me. Well, good for you, Brad. Sure. We're all happy for you. Okay, the last one, and this is one where my brother actually hurt his calf muscle while he was golfing. So it's not a bad idea to stretch. I'm going to stretch this one right here. Right. So you can just use your golf club, and you're going to hold it to give some balance, and you're just going to. 
you're keeping the heel on the ground. Right here. This is the one getting stretched right here. And I'm leaning forward. I'm trying to keep the heel on the ground. You can bend the knee or you can just lean the hip forward both ways. Great. And you can stretch that one out real good for a good 15 to 30 seconds. Yep. And now, don't, don't let this happen. I'm going to emphasize, just go in that position again, Bob. Okay. This will be kind yeah, of... Don't turn it out. Yeah, that's... You have to keep it the toes straight forward. Right. Okay, we just lost a cup. Uh-oh. One of our little set secrets there. So we stretch the other side out. Now, if you have a little more time, you can also go ahead and, and put your foot up on the cart and give a little stretch for the hamstring stretch. Keep a straight knee, keep breathe, a straight knee, keep straight back, posture, straight back. Use the club to even yep. give you a little balance. Mm -hmm. And then the last one would be the quad, stretch the quad. Sure. This one, if you got good balance. I thought you were going to do it, Brad. Uh, okay, we'll do it. I, I'm not a big one on this doing this stretch, but if you want to do it, you can. You got something to balance. So is I that, probably wouldn't do it unless you're, you're you tend to have problems in that area. Right? Yeah. Right. So there you go. You're going to be ready to set to hit the long ball. And yeah, Brad looks like he's got a natural swing, doesn't he? Yeah, I could do it. I, I actually do for warming up, Brad, then I actually do a baseball swing. Ooh. Just gently growing back This is back something you really got to make sure your surroundings so, are clear. Yep. All right. All right, good luck. Good luck with your game. Thank you.